All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Smithify Podcast. Today we're on episode number 17, and today I'm joined with a well-known Discord member again. We are joined by Zero's Reality in the Discord, or Nacho. Welcome, Nacho. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm doing good, other than the fact that we could have done this half an hour ago. That's great to hear. That's a common, re- th- that's a reoccurring theme with me. I legit am like 30 minutes late to all the podcasts. But at the end of the day, everyone they get done, so we're not... Everyone can agree. Nothing to worry about there. But anyways... I'm sure none of you know, but the last time I had Nacho on the podcast, I believe it was, it was episode number four, and we actually uh, went through Ask Reddit, which for those of you who don't know, Ask Reddit, this is the exact description, it's a place to ask and answer thought-provoking questions. So basically, we have no script here, we're just going to go through this app right here, Ask Reddit, it asks a bunch of questions, we're going to answer the questions with our best answers, and yeah, that's basically what we're going to do for the next hour, I guess, so uh, let's get into it. Episode 17, hope you all enjoy. Nacho, would you like to start us off with a question? Men of Reddit, what is the most? What is the male equivalent of taking off your bra when you get home? Okay, yeah, we already discussed this one. I'm saying, yeah, taking off socks. That's what we came up with. I'm so, gonna say socks. Yeah, at the end of the day, when you get home, the best feeling is just taking off your socks. I'd assume uh, maybe for women, it's taking off your bra. I don't know. I can't confirm, your feet, but because your feet are sweaty. Yeah, it feels so good to take socks off, then just lay down in bed and just go to go to sleep, which is kind of what I'm gonna do exactly right after this. After I take a shower, I just got back from the gym. Oh my god, I'm I'm so greasy right now. Uh, that's why we're late today, because I had an open gym for basketball. I currently haven't showered yet, so we had to get this done. Still didn't this have important. to go, but he chose I, to. I had to go. I had to be there for the team, man. It's my senior year. I can't skip out on these events. But anyways, <laughs> Nacho, in honor of Alex Trebek, do you know who that is? Isn't that the guy from Jeopardy? It is. Okay, you're probably not going to have an answer to this question, though, but what is your favorite mem- memory of him? You probably wouldn't have any. When he hosted Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, that's actually a fat rip. I... I was actually heartbroken when I heard the news that he died today. Like, Dova put in our announcements on our Discord server. He's like, the guy of Jeopardy died today. And I actually didn't believe that, but it's true, man. That's did he app. just die of old age? Or did uh, he die of COVID? Pancreas. What's it called? What did he die of? Some type of cancer? I don't know what it is. He's been fighting it for a couple oh. of years, and yeah, they kind of knew he was going to die. I think I watched a video. Yeah. He, he had like a 7% chance of living for two years, and he didn't quite get there. It's sad, man. But uh, I he definitely had a few moments. I don't watch a lot of Jeopardy, but definitely. I think I'm, that's something I'm going to get into here once I start running out of TV shows to watch. I'll start watching Jeopardy, because I think it's on Netflix. So, that could be enjoyable. But, uh, yeah, F in the chat for Alex Trebek. That is sad. Another great thing to happen in 2020. Dang. Not. Zero. Nacho. How do you personally yes. deal with the fact that you are going to die? Would you like to go first? Do you have an Just, answer? I to? mean, it's you have to think about it. I'm going to think for a second. I think... Uh, when it comes to me, I'm a pretty religious person. I look at the whole world and I'm like, I just think, I think someone put us here, man. At the end of the day, I think we have a purpose. I think there's an afterlife, honestly. So I'm thinking, I'm not really that worried to die. I definitely would rather not die, but I wouldn't say I'm like worried. I'm, I've accepted the fact at this point, I mean, I'm going to die eventually. So I wouldn't say I'm worried, but it is a scary thought that it's going to happen to everyone. I do think about that. That's one of those things that kind of keeps me up at night sometimes, but... I don't know for so me. You, you think once you're just done here that there's something else for you? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know how to explain it though, man. I just think it's too. I just don't think that all this just happened by chance. Like the entire world, everything works perfect. You look at your body, you have like 10 functioning body systems that just work in perfect harmony. Everything's designed. I think there's a designer, man, honestly. So to me, I think there's an afterlife. I don't know. We'll see though. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. We'll all figure I mean, out something. I'm not. You I'm just... not a religious person. Yeah. I mean, I'm not as religious as you. Yeah. I would say, but I'd still say I believe in God and Jesus. So, I would guess you... sooner or later we just have to find out, but it is still a scary thought. To at the end of the day, yeah. I, I mean, I'm sure it scares everyone, but at the end of the day, it's it's something hard to cope with, but I don't know. I think I'm mm-hmm. I'm ready. Whenever. Whenever's my time. Yeah, that was kind of a deep one, honestly. Alright, wait, what is this? You're choosing a band name? The name must include a type of pasta? What are you going to call your band? Something with, like, Mac and cheese. What do these people say? Pennywise. <laughs> no, wait, I don't even know. That's not how you say that. I don't like this question. What do you, do you have any answers for this? I the the first thought that came to my head was tortellini for some reason. <laughs> I mean that could work. I don't have I don't have anything to this. This one's on you. That's a good that's a good answer. <laughs> hey, this next one's good. You want to read that one off? The insane asylum one. The insane asylum. Do you see it? All right. If you were mistakenly placed in an asylum. How would you convince your doctor you were sane? What would you do? Oh, God. If they thought you were insane, I would just... Isn't it like the more you say you're not crazy, you get crazier? 
I mean, um, I've never heard that, but that might be true. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I would just have him ask me a bunch of questions, and I would answer the questions correctly, and he'd be like, oh, all right. I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to convince someone want I'm saying. Them to think. No, because if I was insane, I would just be like saying some weird answers and stuff. But, but I don't people know. People are insane in different ways. Like Not how? everyone like, what do you, like, in the just... same way. <sighs> Define insane. What's insane even mean? Should I look up insane? I'm looking up what insane means. Hold on, give me a sec. Insane. We need to define our terms. A, a state of mind which prevents normal perception, behavior, or social interaction. So if I basically seriously or mentally ill. So if I just answer the questions correctly, I'll convince him that I'm that I'm sane. I think that would work out pretty well, honestly. You're taking the easy way out. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else you want me to do. <laughs> do, you have, way out. do you have a different option? Uh, just let's see. wait it out. Oh, here we go. As a child, what career did you want? Nacho, what career did you want as a child? You know, before I actually was on, or before I actually got into figuring out what YouTube was when I was a kid, uh, yeah. I always wanted to, I was th always thinking of being a police officer, to be honest. Really? All right, here's a question. Would you still want to be a police officer in the, oh, you probably don't want anymore, but like the toxic environment that is police officers that they're in today? Would you still have any motivation to become a police officer? I mean, I still would. To yeah. all right. just put, put that all aside and to just help people. You think people you could? Because, like, literally, police officers are doing their job, and they're, and it's just a disaster. So I don't yeah, know. Hey. But then there's a the few that are corrupt. Yeah, I get Are you pursuing your goal of becoming a police officer in any way? I mean, no. if that's your goal right now. <laughs> I don't know what no, your goal is. That, that, that dream's gone. <laughs> that dream's gone? Okay. Um, okay, hold up. As a child, obviously all the sports, you know, like, oh, I want to be in the NFL. I want to be in the NBA. But then I realized I'm like 165 pounds and uh, didn't really hit the weight room all that much. So that dream's gone. Um, he's a scrawny man, ladies and gents. He's a scrawny man. I hate that word. It makes me sad. Because I think scrawny <laughs> means like ugly or something. Like ugly, skinny. No, it's like skinny. Yeah, but it means like ugly. Like I looked up the definition, it was like ugly, ugly, skinny or something like that. But uh, other than that, uh, being a YouTuber, that's a dream job. That'd be cool. Like as a kid even, I was like, I could just make videos growing up. That'd be cool. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> as of right now, though, I don't even know anymore. We'll see what happens. Take it day by day. Um, what is the harshest truth you've ever learned? Um, should we go back to the thing that I'm going to die someday? I mean, that's kind of harsh, but it's true. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, let's see, would you have a different I mean, one? I mean, basically realizing that when you're younger, the world oh. is not what you seem to be. Like, yeah. you think it's going to be easy. And then as we get older now, we know oh what, my God. Oh. what's happening. Okay, hold up. Not realizing that I'm never going to have a childhood again. That saddens me so much. Yeah, you're not a child anymore. Welcome yeah, to I'm it. I'm 18 now. I've hit the depressing ages. Everyone, we're all depressed, Gen Z or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that actually is kind of a hard truth, man, because our childhood, we would just... I mean, for us, it was playing Call of Duty every day in the summer, basically, which was a lot of fun, but I don't know. Weren't we like we were like born in a time where like just technology like, was barely coming up. Yeah, it was really interesting. We've really seen it like evolve. We went from like the Wii to now we have like the PS5 and stuff. It's insane. We are... I think we were born at like the best time ever in history, honestly, man. Like, we have all information at our fingertips and stuff. Technology's evolving like no other. And, like, we haven't seen the effects of technology yet. So if technology leads to, like, the end of the world, we won't be there for that because we were just here for the beginning. So I think I think we were born in a great time period, honestly, if you ask me. doesn't yeah, seem like it right now, but maybe in the future. We'll there. I can see technology it. just, like, yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> what smell is weird, but you like it? <laughs> What well, smell is weird, but I like it. Ooh, gasoline. All right, I've, I like this. I've, the smell yes. of gasoline. Yeah, gasoline. I know. It's okay. When I was younger, we used to have like gasoline tanks in the back of our house, and I would just like sniff it. Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> oh no. Okay, I exposed myself. Do you have a story to tell? What? Or no, I mean, I when we would go to gas stations, I would always like roll the window down subtly just, to get yeah, an that's even a little less whiff. subtle than mine. I legit just like would smell the nozzle and stuff. <laughs> oh no. That was my younger self, though. I haven't done that in years, so. What is the most creative way to approach a girl? Um, Our pickup lines, those are kind of just, I don't know. I feel I like mean, they work. Way. I just feel like, I just feel like pickup lines work at the end of the day. You have to have I mean, a creative I mean, pickup line. 
I couldn't tell you. I've never performed a pickup line, so <laughs> I'm not I mean, the expert for me, here. For yeah. me, it would be in a van. Oh, well, this took a <laughs> this took a dark turn. You just gonna? I didn't say what I was doing with said van. Like a white van. It could be white. Just stop and. Okay, I mean maybe that could work. <laughs> Which video game item would you, would change our lives the most if it existed in real life? Oh, those Portal Two guns. <laughs> you know, you can make <laughs> portal portals through the walls if you shoot a portal like on this wall and then shoot one over there. You can walk through it. That would be insane. That'd be so cool. I feel like there's something better out there, but maybe like a Litra from Minecraft. You could fly around. <laughs> you need fireworks. Red snout. Wait, what would be epic? Like flying TNT. We kind of already had that, but TNT duplicators from Minecraft. Because then you we have get, unlimited ammo you can in make real life. Red, you can make your redstone contraptions real life. That would you be, can make your hay bale. Didn't they make you like? Didn't they make Minecraft like VR type thing? Minecraft Earth or something? Did that ever happen? They did do that. Yeah, that, they did that. Did that ever come out, or does that just lose hype? I think it is. I think it did come out. It's just that I don't think it got that much wow, hype. Wow, really? Because that looked really cool, but I guess maybe it died. I don't know. Yeah, it's basically Pokemon Go, I think, but for Minecraft. Yeah, Pokemon Go, dang. That's why 2016 was a great year. <laughs> Ooh, uh, this one's interesting. What's what's one thing you hate with a burning passion? Um, uh, the way our culture's heading. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know, man. I just think... I just think like social media and stuff is so toxic and it's just people doing whatever they can for like clout and stuff and people just idolize clout all the time and they'll just like make fun of they people and stuff to do that else. and it's just awful the way people act just it kills me like Logan Paul just, to, just <laughs> Logan. to get fame yeah it's yeah like clout is a drug I've been told and yeah I could see people doing a lot of stupid stuff and like I don't know I don't like our culture and what it promotes and stuff with <laughs> the song WAP I don't think that's the best. Like every like twelve year old girl in the nation has done that dance. I don't think that's good to promote that, but I guess that's an empowering song. So, slay queen, keep slaying. Listen to WAP. <laughs> you're, now you're promoting it. We should not promote that. I don't know why our. It's an awful song, but yeah, that that make I hate our culture where it's heading. But yeah, do you have an answer? What do you hate with a passion? Uh, probably the same thing. You know, really. You don't, you don't like it's our like I don't know. I thought you liked WAP. It's all just going downhill. <laughs> the world I play is... WAP for the meme. I guess. I think everyone does. Does anyone actually like the song? Does anyone actually like the song? I mean, Cardi B might. Maybe she won the world that do you song. Think, do you think she even likes that song? Who knows? I don't know. Uh, Probably not. <laughs> let's go back in time. No. Uh, what is a stupid thing you did that damaged you permanently? Oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know I if have I have an answer for this. I have a story. Tell your story, please. <laughs> I have a story. I'm gonna get I'm gonna probably get roasted for this oh. in the Discord. But I was a pretty dumb child. <laughs> I was a In what ways? In the not thinking before I acted kind of way. <laughs> Example. <And> <laughs> <laughs> it was we were in school, I think I was in kindergarten still or something. But I don't know. I don't know if, even if you know this, Smitty, but oh. my two front teeth aren't actually like real. Whoa! They're I like, want. I want story time now. <laughs> please, please explain. When, I, when we were all playing on the playground, we were like, I don't even know what we were playing. We were all running at each other though, and I <laughs> made the big mistake of running at someone. They dodged last second, and I ran into a pole. Oh, I wish <laughs> that would have got on camera. I would pay to see that. I would pay to see thanks, that happen again. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. But also I, sorry I about your remember, teeth. But... I just remember blacking out, and then I woke up, and my friends were carrying me. And the next thing I knew, I was with my mom and dad. We were driving to the dentist in like Fargo. Oh, no. And then I woke up, and they're like, "Yeah, you got two brand new teeth, bud." I think it was like they're not oh. all completely fake, but like most of it's fake. A lot of it is. Yeah. Can you like feel a difference them between them, or is it that accurate that they made like duplicates or however that works? I don't know how that works. No, they're they're pretty similar. Really? Everything's good about him. I had no idea that ever happened, but uh, good job, Kindergarten Nacho. Good <laughs> work. That did damage you for the rest of your life. It, it reminds me of this one time, this other kid, he like fell off like the, well, I don't know what it was, like the monkey bars or something, and, like rolled his ankle and like broke his ankle. And like the outside <laughs> teacher was like telling him to get up and stuff. And he was like sitting there crying really and she was care? just sitting there. Yeah, she did care. She was just sitting there telling him to get up. 
and I don't. Oh, and then eventually, God. our science teacher, Mr. Shaw, had to come carry him inside, and he was just dying. But the recess teacher person just didn't even care. <laughs> That's... And then we had to push him around in a chair for the rest of the year. That was fun, but <laughs> that was good stuff. But yeah, I don't really have an answer to that. But you had a nice one. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, what is this? Okay, you wake up on January 1st, 1900 with nothing but a smartphone, with nothing on it except the entire contents of Wikipedia. What do you do with the access to this information, and how would you live the rest of your life? Show them WAP. Why? <laughs> that, Show them that, we literally, Civilization would end in 50 years if WAP was a thing back then. They would just <laughs> would have ran Civilization into the ground with that information. I was thinking more like survival tips and stuff, maybe like how to build technology and stuff, but... I guess promoting Show WAP could also work. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I don't like your answer. I was thinking information. <laughs> oh, here you go, oh. Nacho. Men of Reddit, no one asks about your feelings, so how are you? How are you doing, Nacho? Terrible. Why? Explain, please. The world is a burning plague that just needs to stop doing what it's doing and then just take a different turn. I mean, yeah. I can relate. I think, again, in terms of this year, I've had it a lot easier than a lot of other people. Like, some people in our Discord still can't even, like, do stuff. They're on lockdown. We're from a pretty small town, so I think we've been pretty free to move around. Like I said, I was just at Open Gym today, and I'm sure a lot of people around the world don't have that opportunity. Uh, probably so, don't even yeah. know what Open Gym is. Yeah, a lot of people probably don't even know what basketball is. I don't know, but... Mm. What is a movie bad. ending that makes you cry, no matter how many uh, times you've watched it? Um... I mean, not ever, like not currently. I feel like I might have cried to Titanic once. I don't remember. Uh, why Titanic? I don't watch a lot of I movies. Was, like, why I was going to say Bridge to Terabithia. I don't remember. We watched that in second grade when we read the book. I don't really remember what happens besides the girl. That was a sad movie. I don't want Oh, spoiler alert for Bridge to Terabithia. I think the girl like falls off the log and dies or drowns or something. She, yeah, because the, the kid, the guy character, he went somewhere else and didn't go with her that day. Is that so what she's, happened? The, yeah, she t- and she went on the rope swing that leads to their hideout or whatever, Ooh. and she fell off of it and drowned. <laughs> uh, this is not funny. We don't joke about this. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's funny because, I mean, I think we watched. Yeah, I think we watched the movie in second grade. I don't know. I might have cried. I don't know. It is uh, sad. Like, what is the last movie I even watched? Um, <laughs> I just don't know movies, man. God, I'm bad. All I would do is Very watch horror movies too because they keep me interested. But uh, oh, here we go, Nacho. <laughs> When did you realize COVID was going to be a big thing? I have a story for this, if you don't have one. I really don't have one. All right, so it was March 13th, Friday. Wait, yeah. That's when, I, well, yeah, that's when everyone got it. But we, I was just sitting in class, sitting in Mr. Wentworth's room. I don't know what I was doing. I was typing something. And then all of a sudden, our superintendent comes over the intercom. He's like, all sporting events for the next two weeks have been canceled and stuff. And all after-school extracurricular, whatever, activities have been canceled. And I was like, dang, really taking this serious because... In our history class before that, we were talking about the coronavirus and if it was going to get serious enough. And now here we are. It was definitely pretty serious. So, March 13th. That was everyone, though, on March yeah. 13th. So, that was uh, a rip. Going in on a little easier note here, what's your favorite YouTube channel? Uh, myself? No, not myself. Uh, who do it's I even watch? Uh, who do you watch? I don't know. Who I, hold on, let me think. I, I thought yours would have been just the Smith Plays... <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I don't even watch his content anymore. His channel's actually kind of dying. His second channel's doing better than his main channel right now. So, that's where he's at. I, like, I don't even know who I watch anymore. Like, um, I don't even know. Uh, for me, I was going to say Vanos, but... Do you still watch him? him anymore? I watch him occasionally. But yeah. now that I think of it, the person that's had like the most impact on oh. me would probably be Syndicate. You still watch him to this day, or...? You used to I watch him. I still watch him, him occasionally. Does, I used he... to watch him so much. He was the first YouTuber I found when I like started yeah, getting it, on YouTube. And stuff. I definitely feel and that. Watch his custom Did, zombies. Wait, has he hit ten million yet? He has. I'm pretty. <laughs> Did sure. he? Let's go. Because he had ten million, then he lost it, and I don't think he ever got his diamond play button. But now he probably does. Uh, like, what content does he make? Minecraft still, or I don't even. Know. I think he does Minecraft and Call of Duty. I think he bounced. Yeah, that's good. Out. He went back to his roots. I guess that's pretty cool, but. Nevertheless, now he's definitely died off for me. Maybe like Mr. Beast, I guess. He makes some good content. It's actually incredible how much... I don't know, mate, probably. It's actually incredible how much Mr. Beast is dominating YouTube right now. Like he gets... I feel like if, if he hasn't hit 50 mil yet, I feel like if he keeps grinding, in this next two months he can hit 50 mil. Yeah, 
he's actually he's he's insane. His his uh, gaming his second channel hit ten million in five months. <laughs> in reference, my channel's hit one point three k in seven months, but I'm still happy with that. That's epic. But yeah, Mr. B's second channel ten mil in five months. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, there's that. Oh no. Oh, do you, uh, here's a gaming related one. We'll see if you have an answer for this. Gamers of Reddit, what's that annoying boss battle that you hate to this very day? I don't play campaigns, so uh, I don't really know. Did you ever play campaigns? Maybe zombies. I mean, mm. I just I I didn't really play like I don't play single player games. I just yeah. Um, I guess the only boss fights I've ever done is Call of Duty Zombies. Um, maybe like. Uh, I mean, you ever played mm. Smash Bros? I have like seven years ago. That I mean, have, do like, you remember the final it? boss battle where you had to fight that giant hand? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, there's like a giant hand you have to fight in the last fight, and I could just like never beat it, and it was really annoying Wait, for was, me. Was there like a story mode to smash? I didn't. There was. There's like I... a thing where you'd go. Well, I don't even think there was a story back then. Mm -hmm. But you just go and you'd fight like a bunch of characters, and then you get to the final guy, and it's just a hand. It's just a hand. That's it. That's all the. It's like a white glove that you have to fight, and he's really, he's mean. Dang, that's, that's weird. Yeah, I never did that. I just like played two players and stuff. But yeah, I'd say like maybe, Shadows of Evil. That boss fight's boring. No one probably knows what I mean by that. But it's a zombies map. It's boring. Um, let's see. <laughs> all right, here's one. What do you think 2020's final fu will be? What's the ba last bad thing that'll happen in 2020? Let's predict this right now. Um, I feel to be honest. I feel like something may happen to the White House, or something may happen to like, the president. Like Trump or Biden gets killed. See, I, I mean, maybe I predicted that back in October. I was like, uh, Biden's going to get COVID and die, which would be the next bad thing of 2020. That didn't happen, thankfully. So, and then Trump got it, and then somehow got cured in like three days. <laughs> yeah, I know that was insane. Um, but yeah, I guess. So yeah, that's why I thought something was going to happen to our government. I was thinking that too a couple months ago. But I don't think anyone wants to mess with us because, uh, yeah, we got a nice military. So uh, Even though we're like really broken and divided as a country. <laughs> yeah, we really are. We, we really are. <laughs> but still, if you mess with us, our military, they can take you down. Uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking someone in government is going to die or something. The, isn't it America has, like, the second largest Air Force, too? Like, the first and like, largest I think, Air Force. I feel like we just, I don't know. We just have first and everything. Because we spend so much money on it. It's insane. We're we're in so much debt. But I don't know how we can get out of that. I don't know. I'm not a politician. <laughs> just, just print more money. <laughs> just print more money, yes. Like, they did in, uh, what, what, like, Zimbabwe or something? I don't know what it was. but Some African country. It was... What was it? it was more worth it to burn your money than actually like buy firewood or something. That's yeah. how much they're got. No, like everyone's a billionaire. <laughs> I don't know. Let's not do that. Um, let's see. What's your? Oh, I filmed that moment. Have you ever caught like a crazy moment on video? I don't know if I have. Not really. Because I don't like vlog I mean, or nothing. So your hot shot series. <laughs> yeah, I caught some nice trick shots, some nice basketball <laughs> trick shots on camera. I guess that that'd be the answer for me. I've hit some nice shots for being. 11 years old-ish. Something like that. Oh, okay. This one's kind of interesting, if you have any, anyway. Uh, what's your favorite conspiracy? <laughs> JFK's assassination was just a complex system of pulleys and levers. That's how he died. By It wasn't the... Uh, it, it, was wasn't the it was the driver. The driver was using pulleys and levers or something like that to, to, ki so to kill him. Think, <laughs> so you think his driver killed him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I this heard that somewhere. It was around. something like that. A system of levers and pulleys to kill JFK. No, um didn't people say like the passenger guy riding shotgun like turned around and shot him or something? Jesus. I don't know if that's true, but that'd be kinda cool. Um I mean then they definitely would have caught that on camera. Because there's like fifty cameras all pointed in and there's like fifty different angles you can look yeah, up on I, something on YouTube. I feel like there's only like one good the Zap Rooter film. Just because you know, I've been interested in school before. I've just looked up like JFK assassination, you know. Have I'm you, just like, I mean, I feel like I'd other like people to take have done time that. to look up different conspiracies, like the moon landing was fake or something, or yeah, I don't know if I believe theory. that. I feel like we were on the moon. I saw someone debunk that. I forgot what they said, but I don't know. I think we were on the moon. I mean, it's kind of convincing that we would fake it to beat the like Russians or whatever we were doing. I don't know, Mo. I don't know the whole story, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Not a big conspiracy theorist for sure. Uh, let's see. What's the stupidest thing you've gotten in trouble for? You got an answer for that? 
Uh, oh, not this, really. this next one's decent. Yeah, I don't know if I have anything for that. I, I, okay, the thing about me is I like never get in trouble. I'll be messing around at school. I, okay, the thing is I barely ever mess around. But even if I'm messing around at school, the teacher never catches me somehow, I guess. So I don't know. That's what I'm thinking about. I, I definitely yeah. feel like t- teachers have favoritism in that school. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like our teachers, in our school, our teachers have literally confessed to having like favorite students and stuff. I feel like. Mainly like the sport kids. Uh, yeah, we used to have a math teacher every single, every single like track runner. He was the track coach. Everybody in track was like passing his class, even if they were not good at math. <laughs> but not sketchy at all. He's now gone. Rip. It's a rip for Mr. Krause. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, be watching this. Yeah, yeah, maybe he will be. Sorry, Kraus. He was he was a cool dude, but not a good teacher at all. All right, what song would be your theme song if you had one? What song would be my theme song? Uh, yes. <laughs> like any song? Any song that like I don't Whoa. know. Up, you aging, and then die, your spouse dies, and then you're depressed and. <laughs> Dang! I deep. want on my deathbed just to have the song WAP playing. Oh, oh! You said WAP. I thought you said up. Okay, you said WAP. All right. I thought you said the. Oh, up that song, song would be depressing too. Yeah, but that song can... would make me depressed if I heard it twenty four seven. Do you really want WAP? To be... <laughs> I could just see you vibing on your deathbed to it, doing the dance. Oh no! <sighs> like just like before I close my eyes and die, I just hear from, from the, the top. top <laughs> make it drop. That is the last thing I'd want to hear dying, honestly. I would know I failed life if I hear that. Uh, I was just thinking the Curious George song. It's a vibe. It's a big thing right now on TikTok. <laughs> what is Upside Apparently. Down or whatever it's called. It's a vibe. So yeah, that's my theme song. <laughs> oh, let's see. Have I ever... Uh, have you? Do you watch a lot of TV shows? Like, have you watched Not series really. all the way through? Okay, we probably shouldn't do that. What song is from uh, the 2000s and is still a banger? Do we have an answer for that? Two thousand. I know songs, but I just don't know what year they're from. Like the early two thousands would be like, oh, I guess yeah. Hall of Bat Girl. I feel. <laughs> How's that one go? Do you please perform? Uh, I don't know what that one is. I might know though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Not a big like two thousand ten was. I think that was that's when. Those, those were some vibe. There were some good songs then, like the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, okay, and, I got one. I got one. You got it. I got a question. Go for it. You're you're a ghost, and you can ho- only haunt a single inanimate object. What do you pick? I can haunt. What does that mean? Like become? Like you can, like, can wait, you, yeah, you can attach, just control it. Like if you just turn, you can haunt a TV and do whatever you want to it. Ooh. Um. A gun. I could just like fly, oh. float a gun around, and just assassinate people. people. Yeah. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Go kill a bunch of terrorists and stuff. And I'd, I was, I'd be going you, off. I was just gonna be the funny person and then put toilet paper, like I can roll oh, away when no. they're about to grab me, and just like they grab you and you just slip out of their hands and then oh then they got to stand up and oh no and they just chase after me around the <laughs> you'd house. be ruining a lot of lives with that. Oh, I could, I'm no. rolling out too, so like I'm toilet just paper. like going everywhere. They see me rolling. Mine's been that old Bo2 emblem, but yeah, that's that's a good one. That can troll a lot of people. Okay, hold up. If you could only have one dream every night for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, something. Finding love. S- some feel good. Finding love. <laughs> a, a nice love story every single night. Yep. Like that's your it. whole life going just, through your eyes. Just being happy. Just happiness. <laughs> um. Let's see. I got that. <laughs> some of these are really stupid. God dang it. Oh, uh, I don't know if I have much business what do you information. Find overrated. Who or what? Just anything. Oh no! Wait, I feel like I had to answer this. I mean, okay, gaming wise, I feel like Among Us is a little overrated. Um, I feel like a lot of modern songs are overrated. I feel like Travis Scott is overrated. All right, I was listening today. I was literally just like, all right, I'm gonna go look up a Travis Scott live concert, and it was just awful. It was like three people shouting at the same time with auto-tuned mics, and it was just disgusting. I mean, I don't now know. Maybe you're just his... adding his reason to stay off social media. Yeah, maybe his songs are decent, but his live performances are just terrible. Yeah, I mean, people get hyped, but like, there's just like, people. there's like just you. like the, the singing part. Why, do you hate me for this or what? No, I'm just saying you're adding to the reason he's going to keep his Instagram deactivated. Oh, does he not? Did he deactivate his Instagram? Oh, no. He de- you don't know that? He deactivated no, I don't keep up to date with that. because people made fun of his Halloween costume. Oh, my God. What? What, what do you wear? 
What was this uh, Halloween a, costume? A brown Batman costume. <laughs> Why? I gotta see a People picture of it. Him but... Roach Man. <laughs> <laughs> and he deactivated. Oh my god. He got Dang. so bullied because of it. <laughs> People. I think that's our culture. Cancel. Oh yeah, that brings me back. I guess that's not really cancel culture, but I hate cancel culture. It's so toxic. But that's another note. Um, yeah, I think he's overrated. Live performance wise, I don't know. I don't like his music either, but I can see why some people do. Do you have any answers to that? What's overrated? <laughs> uh, Fortnite is overrated. No, Fortnite doesn't get any hype anymore. That's good. It is. But, uh, yeah. Um, okay. So I'm sure we've watched some TV shows. What's the best TV show to watch in a two week quarantine? I say Supernatural. That's my go to TV show. That's about the only one I've ever How been invested in. How many seasons is there in that? 15. <laughs> so you'll be good. It's been going for so long. Per season? 15 seasons of 20-ish episodes. So yeah. How long are the episodes? 42 minutes. <laughs> so you got a lot of time there. <laughs> My little brother told me he had a friend who watched two seasons in two days. And that was like, that's like 40 hours of watching. And there's only 48 hours in two days. So it's a good series. Supernatural. Look it up. Get invested. Does that, mean, does that mean he only slept for that one eight hours? I I guess. I didn't really ask that. I was like, that means he only slept for two four-hour increments on average. I don't know. It's a good show. Like, I would do that if I didn't have anything else to do. Which is why I'm... There's probably a good chance I'm going to be quarantined eventually this Ooh. year. Because I'm in sports so and stuff. So you're, a, like that. you're a big political person. Oh, no. Not politics. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if it's political or anything, but Give you it. decide. I'm the ready. United States has been the dominant world power for like 75 years. Who do you think will replace it? Um, well, in like the future, like no one. Because like, no one. You don't think the U.S. is going to go downhill? Um, I think it will. Like, uh, yeah, I think we're definitely heading for downhill. Like to a civil war, though, that's what a lot of people are talking about. Are we going to destroy, like no one else can destroy us. The only people that can destroy us are ourselves. Uh, do I see that happening in my lifetime? I see. I don't think I can x that out. I feel like there's a possibility we might see a civil war in our lifetime, just because if you it's look at thing, if you look at even like the last four years, people have become so much more divided in this country. It's it's kind of sad, and yeah, I don't know. It's like people are all right. Here's people are like moving away from religion. I think, and people are literally like treating politics as their religion and stuff. And like it's. People just, I see these so many Twitter accounts that just spend all day commenting on Donald Trump's posts and stuff on Twitter. It's like these people literally, their entire life is just calling Donald Trump names and stuff. And I mean, I don't think that divides the country or that unites the country. And I don't know, man. There's so much hypocrisy on both sides. This, it's one, sad. this one should be easy for you. What do we got? You can kill one celebrity to revive another dead one. Who do you kill and who do you revive? <laughs> Uh, you see, I would used to say Lil Pump, but now Lil Pump supports Trump, so I can't say that. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, now I thought Jake Paul, but he's just so annoying. Mm, All right. I wonder who you're going to revive. <laughs> um, well, I feel like there's a worse celebrity out there. Jacob Sartorius? No. All right, we're killing Jake Paul. Mm. We're bringing back Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Who <laughs> what a surprise. Jackson. God, why is he not still alive? That's sad to me. Why? He's a child Why? Predator. He actually got killed. He's not a child predator. He was investigated by the FBI for like 10 years. They found nothing. Dropped of all charges like so many times. Because God. he had a skin color change. <laughs> Sads me. You don't even know his music. God dang it. That makes me sad. I know Thriller. I'm, one day I asked you to name like all of his, name as many songs as you can. You, you thought he had a song called Too Bad. And that's just, it's just not even close. You made me sad with that answer. But. Something, something with bad in it. Yeah, it, the song's just called Bad. God, dang it. He really had an album called Bad. God, dang it. All right, who are you bringing back? Let me guess. I, th I could get this one. All right, you do it. You do it. Who I would killing? say, let's kill JoJo Siwa. <laughs> Why? Okay, I used to like join... There used to be a lot of hype around hating her, but I don't know. She's just not that bad. She's annoying and stuff, but I don't know. She's good for the kids, I guess. I don't know. You be you, though. Kill JoJo and... Man, there's so many good celebrities. Who do you, who do you think I'm gonna revive? X. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go with X. All right, X is back. He's back. How wait? How old was he? Only like 21 when he died. He was pretty young. Yeah. So much life left in him. That's a rip. <laughs> um, 
All right. How would society be different if humans didn't take fall damage? Oh my god, that would be insane, dude. Like planes, they would just be like jump. <laughs> you wouldn't even have to land. They would just. I guess you kind of would to get back on. Dang it. Oh no, elevate. Okay, yeah, there need to be elevators too. How do we get back up? But people would just be jumping off buildings and stuff, dude. That, that would that would take parkour to a whole new that level. That would be insane. Yeah, for sure. That'd be cool. Imagine if there's no fall damage. I couldn't. That, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I have an answer to this one. What is the worst movie you've ever seen? Do you have an answer to this? Or the worst movie I've ever seen? I don't yeah, I'll think called. about it for a second. It was like it was like this movie where these was it the like uh, Coneheads? Maybe no, that movie's bad too. But it was like this movie where some like clowns came down from the they're like alien clowns, and it was just it was oh, so I think cringe. I think I've heard of that. You know when you got those low seen. budget movies and everything's just awful in them, but you like the low budget movies because they're they're funny to laugh at and it's just. I mean, I remember seeing like a snippets of a movie that was like a rip off of Madagascar. Oh, uh, just dang, off brand Madagascar. <laughs> Is it just it's the same storyline, just character, just a little less worse? I'm pretty sure it's about a dog. Animation. Oh my god, really? That's cringe. I hate. <laughs> Let's see, what was it? Um. The story of Finding Nemo. I thought someone told me that got stolen on TikTok. I've seen some like kid wrote the whole storyline for that, and then like Disney yeah, or whoever made I Finding Nemo took that. it or something. But yeah, that happened. I think not much evidence for that, but hey. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, if there's a hundred people chasing you, trying to kill you, and your username is your only weapon to defend yourself, what is that weapon? What are you using to defend yourself if a hundred people are chasing you? I mean, my Reddit name is just Zero's Memes. Oh wait, oh you have to wait, you have to use your name. You kill you. Your, oh, your username is the only weapon to defend yourself. Oh, Zero. Okay, you so you have like nothing. You have memes. I, I mean, yeah, I have memes. Throw memes at him. I have Smitty Werben Jägerman Jensen. Skeleton. Wait, he actually has a sword in his coffin or something. So, I think I'd have a sword. <laughs> no, that's Mr. Krabs with the sword. I don't know. I have bones to throw at people. That wouldn't work. Nope, that doesn't work. Um, let's see. Do you have one, or I got one here? If you want. Yeah, you can go for it. If you had to choose five hundred thousand dollars now or five million in thirty years, what would you pick and why? Discuss. Wait, five million or fifty million? Uh, five million in thirty years or five hundred k right now. Which one? Thirty years five is a long time. You might not be around. Very. I'm. You know, I'm just gonna take the five hundred k now. You know, I'm kind of leaning towards that right now too. 500k right now because maybe you can take bank, that build up. Can we, yeah you can maybe invest that and get 5 million before 30 years from now maybe start like a small Ten. business with that little investment money right there or something yeah I'm taking the 500k honestly I can't sit around and wait because in 30 years I'm already like 50 that's that's too much uh, you just lived out your whole life already pretty much yeah so it's a waste give me that 500k right now please <laughs> uh, hmm. personal theme in Toy Story Oh, that's that's too. That's uh, let's see. <laughs> this is kind of random. Uh, what is the best name for a three-legged dog? Um, do you have one? Uh, uh, that is such a random question. Okay, really. I can't think of one. I gotta see what these people said. Tripod, trip. Oh, pod. <laughs> Tripod. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. Ooh. Like he had to sit there for like twenty minutes and come up with that. How could you just come up with that right away? People grind this. <laughs> People, this okay. Wait, people that people don't have TVs in their living rooms out there. Do you what? This question is saying, why do people not have TVs in their living rooms? To the people who don't, I couldn't what? imagine living that life, bro. I mean, do you go in the living room often? Yeah, I'm in the living room often. I have a TV in there. Do you not? Well, Damn. I mean, I do. I just, I just don't go there often. I mean, I guess apparently a lot of people don't or something. That's weird. Oh, this one's this one's good. How do you think humans will go extinct? Um, if anything, uh, we nuke ourselves. Now, I don't think we could kill ourselves. I mean, we could nuke a good part of ourselves, and then the rest will just like slowly hmm. die off. Maybe I don't know. We'd probably we'd find a way to adapt though. Um, yo, I don't know. I guess I mean the best way would just be like some like asteroid or something to just come take us out or meteor or whatever the right stages I feel or like the sun exploding the sun exploding in a couple billion years once the sun explodes we're gone so there's that viruses 
viruses like coronavirus on steroids even yeah something something that we can't yeah that we can't that defend against happen. i mean that's probably gonna happen eventually <laughs> maybe that'd be scary like that's what i thought the coronavirus might be right away i was kind of worried i was like dang is this the end of us but no we're good hmm. uh, all right i got one what video game would you love to be able to spawn yourself into what world map whatever anything minecraft that'd be so cool like minecraft creative mode so i could just fly around and build whatever infinite terrain <laughs> who's gonna win in a fight god or creative mode steve ah <laughs> uh, dang does creative mode steve have commands <laughs> <laughs> he has everything he's creative mode steve god or creative mode steve yeah well i guess i would assume god created steve i think god wins because he could just be like steve I be mean, gone steve and with his words slash kill <laughs> steve <laughs> that wouldn't work on god <laughs> maybe it would i don't know i guess maybe steve can put like millions of tnt down with like commands and then just surround himself in obsidian or bedrock maybe I, that's could you trap god i don't know i don't know if we could have it ever have an answer to this maybe someday i'll answer we'll have an answer but i don't know <laughs> um i have a good or this is a really good one but i got one it's which fast food place out there has the best french fries now i have a, i feel like a lot of people would agree with this answer it's got to be McDonald's. It has to be McDonald's. Exactly. Okay, that's everyone in the world. I was going to say, yeah, it's like the salty amounts and just like the thickness. <laughs> it, I like Some them. of them can be a bit greasier than others, but you get the perfect one. It's like the good crunch and everything. Yeah, and like good. once they start getting cold and you're getting to the bottom of the thing and you got like the small ones, it's they're not that enjoyable, but the salty, warm ones right away, good stuff. Best mm. fries, easily. Yeah, I think that's uh, everyone's answer. A simple one. What is currently your favorite song? Oh no. Um I don't really have a favorite song. I just have a playlist compiled of twenty five hours of Michael Jackson music. Oh man, that literally <laughs> no, kind of breaks my heart. It's not twenty five hours. No, I don't know. It's it's only fifteen hours. Do okay, you no, I listen to music I listen to some other music. All right, I listen to TikTok songs. Uh, I, that's oh, help I, you chase you. I have Juice World's album. All of it on here. Yeah, I guess that makes up for it. I have, I have recover, recovery from Eminem's album on here. I, I feel have, like you lost a bit of subscribers, though, from saying that you have Michael Jackson. 15 and hours of... I have all his albums. I just hit shuffle, and I'm like, hey. <sighs> start yeah. vibing. Start moonwalking. Sorry. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's what I got for you. What do you What do you listen to, Notch? Please inform me. I mean, I listen to... I just... Oh, there goes the mic. Rip. Um. <laughs> oh no! Are we gonna be able to fix the mic issue? I may or may have not unplugged my mic. No, it's accident. all right. It's it's all right. It's all right. We're back. But okay, okay. To finish my question, I listen to <clears throat> an assortment of like rappers, like you know the basic ones that everyone listens to. X, Juice World, Lil Peep. You get who's Lil Peep? Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Peep, you don't know about Lil Peep? I swear I've told you to listen to some of his songs. <laughs> you probably have. I don't know. Does he have some TikTok songs? Lil I mean, Peep. Why are there why are there so many Lils? Why do people feel the need to do that? I mean he's dead now, so he's not <laughs> did he? anymore. When did that happen? <laughs> a couple of years ago. I think it was like a oh, year no. before X. Dang. Um Is there like So like three of my favorite rappers are dead. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but why? I feel like maybe it's <laughs> yeah, the things that they promote better. in their songs that are killing them. But I don't know. Okay, I guess X got murdered, but other than that. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure Lil, Lil Peep got murdered too. It's like, Did he? Okay, he was he was he had drugs, but they were laced. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, man. All I know laced. is, uh, yeah, the rappers aren't making it very long. Juice World, he was like 21. Um, yeah, he died from an overdose because he was didn't, getting on a plane. And the cops... Pulled up and like the cops were in the, the same airport with him, and he's like, "Oh God!" And he just like took drugs, and then he overdosed from him. <sighs> nice. <laughs> All right, not nice. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Um. All right, here we go. The time is coming up. What is the perfect Christmas gift for you? What do you want for Christmas, Nacho? Probably some socks. What kind of socks specifically? Maybe some some white socks. I need some white socks. <laughs> it's literally the most. All right, no offense, but that is the most. I'm getting 
boring Christmas gift I've ever. Bro, heard. I'm getting to that point where I I'm know, just I like, I don't mean. really want anything. I know what you mean. I'm, I just, yeah, so close. Getting to the point where like holidays are just like not hype anymore. Like on Halloween, I was just, I wasn't hype at all. And like Christmas, I'm hoping I I still get hype for Christmas just because I don't know. Just it's the theme leading up to Christmas that just feels great and stuff. Everyone's all happy. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I agree with you. It's sad. Like, ho- like again, I want my childhood back. Back when I loved, I loved like every ho- like holiday so much. Back when you would see like twenty presents under the tree for you. Yeah, and it was nowadays so it's like two. And you know it's gonna be clothes, which is still kind of hype now. I guess even getting clothes. Yeah, I, mean, I would. I really, I'm really, I'm looking forward to getting socks or something because <laughs> oh, I yeah. need them. <laughs> You're running out of socks. Oh no. Well, it's not that I'm running out of them. It's just that I want more. Oh. I guess you could always never have too many socks. Maybe I don't know. You uh, always lose them. So. You, how do you lose your socks? What? Everyone loses socks. Yeah, I guess, but not often. Like I don't know, not that often. Uh, I, what do I want? Uh, I was thinking more like I got to get a PC, like an actual yeah, PC are for you streaming still in the and stuff. Of getting that. Yeah, but the best Christmas present would be to get YouTube monetization before then. Please, YouTube, monetize me. <laughs> that would be the best Christmas present, YouTube. If you can do that for me, please, sometime. I've submitted 12 applications that have got rejected. Um, but yeah, there's that. Hashtag monetize Smitty. <laughs> yeah, please get that trending on Twitter, guys. We can do it. Twitter um, game's strong. Yeah, absolutely. I gotta love Twitter. What are the best three toppings on pizza? <laughs> I'm so boring. <laughs> <laughs> nothing cheese pizza pepperoni pizza three meat or just sausage or whatever Maybe i mean i would sausage. say that i don't yeah, i wouldn't go I for cheese personally but that's like cheese isn't even like toppings really but i'm just boring like no like olives and ugh. get all that stuff out of there just definitely not pineapple not pine absolutely not pineapple <laughs> you you know who you are imagine liking pineapple on pizza weird you know who you are. I'm looking at you. Weird. I imagine. I wonder if Dove is listening. I don't know. Dove, if you're listening, that would be pretty cool, but I doubt it. But anyways. All right, Nacho. What are your predictions for 2021? Is the world going to become a better place or no? I feel Okay, I feel like some bad stuff is obviously going to happen, but I feel like there's going to be some more good stuff than there's bad. I mean, hopefully that would be the goal. Again, like everyone's thinking, like, once we hit 2021, all the bad stuff's just done. But no. Like, time at the end of the day isn't even real. It's still... We're still just going. And uh, yeah, hopefully the bad mm-hmm. things stop because 2020 has actually been so bad. But I've said that a million times, that gets old. So yeah, hopefully good good things. Uh, predictions. Um, COVID's going to die down a lot, hopefully. Normal life will resume. Can only hope. Yeah, we better be having normal life by the time I start like college and stuff. Yay, college. Mm-hmm. Fun. Um <laughs> Where are you going to go to college? Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking either uh, VCSU. I can go vibe with Greeny and Dalt. Don't or, they have COVID right now? Yeah, they do. Our friends have COVID, guys. Uh, yeah, they do. Or NDSU, one or the other. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So basic. Uh, so generic and absolutely everything in my life. Just generic. Um, well, you can't, nothing, it's not bad. Yeah, I guess. it's You know what to expect from me. Plain, boring. <laughs> <laughs> not exciting uh, let's see. but it's enjoyable <laughs> enjoyable there we go <sighs> alright um, uh, how do you stay calm when you want to get angry um, do you do that or do you just get angry I don't see you getting angry ever I don't get angry it's really hard to make me angry because as you know I kind of take everything as like a joke <laughs> okay yeah definitely <laughs> I can agree with that I don't get angry that much too because usually People try to make you get angry, and I don't give in to their stuff. So I'm just like, why? Like, what are you doing? So, no, I don't really get angry. Like, and... People people in the Discord can agree. I mean, I insult you all the time on there. And I'm just like, you just want me to get mad, but I'm just like, all right, whatever. I don't really care. I just play along with it. It's funny. Like, I'm, I'm laughing when I type those messages out. So. I'm, I'm, I'm also laughing. Love the Discord. Join the Discord. Um, <laughs> this is a great yeah. place. And also, at the end of the day, I'm like, bro, there's no need to have beef. Like, why? There's just no point. The amount of beef in the server too is pretty annoying. Half the beef we have, it could just like it's so stupid. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I suppose it'll keep going. Um, okay, wait, what is something that hurts so good? I guess I have an answer to this. Um So I once had like braces 
and the thing they put at the top of your mouth, I don't know if you've ever had this experience, they put like a metal deal at the top of my mouth that I had to like twist to open my jaw up or something. It was pretty painful. But So there's like this big metal thing on the top, on the roof of my mouth. I'd like stick my tongue under it and like pull down on it and it would like pull down on my teeth. It would hurt, but it would feel good at the same time. So that's my answer. That's kind of random. But That's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I love doing that so much. I did you it get so pain often. For, you get pleasure from pain. Yeah, I mean, that's my answer. So, To Smitty's future girlfriend, he gets pleasure from, from pain. Yeah, I put a metal thing in my mouth and start pulling down on it, pull my teeth. Oh, oh my god. Hey, Pat. <laughs> this is why you're not monetized. No, YouTube isn't watching this. Uh, what will. made you join Reddit? Why did I join Reddit? I don't know. For Ask Reddit, that's about it. Because <laughs> the r slash Reddit Smitty058. Oh my god, yes. That is so cool. I need to promote that eventually. It's kind of been dead for the last couple of weeks, but I went through there, our Reddit, subreddit, and just like the memes were fantastic. Mm. I was going to react What to is those. the weirdest thought you've had today? Oh, geez. Ah, um, oh, no. What did I think about today? Like, what have I done? Nothing. Ah, oh, weird I mean, I thoughts. Have one. You have to have a lot of these. You th- you're you're this type of person. You have all these weird thoughts and stuff. It wasn't okay. It wasn't today. It was like I think like yesterday. I was like laying in bed, and I just thought to myself, "What if there's like a house out there, completely like built completely like, different, like uh, exterior is different, and everything, but the inside of it is like the exact same floor plan as like your your own house." That's gotta be. That's gotta be. Like a I know thing. there's like a. Like I know there's like apartments obviously, but like I'm talking about like a different house in a different part of the world or something that has the exact same floor layout as yours. Like the bathrooms in the same spot, like and the table, bedrooms everywhere. And like yeah, that is interesting. That's definitely got to be a thing. Like think of all the houses out there. You gotta. I just, you know, that is a weird that, thought. Definitely, it's got to be true. Somewhere it. out there. And now imagine if you knew where that house was. That would just make it so much cooler. But you'll never know. And you so. just know where everything is automatically. That would be weird. Like welcome to our house, and you just realize it's the exact same thing as your house. That'd be cool. Yeah, except there's just different furniture where you're just like, whoa. That'd be a cool realization. Um, I got one for you. What is your favorite quote of all time? My favorite quote. I think I have one off the top of my head. Again, very generic Pinterest. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. That's it. You know, for a second I thought you were going to say live, laugh, love. (laughs) No, not live, laugh, love. That was for jokes. God, I knew you'd get upset, but you, I feel like people thought I was serious with that. I set my Discord bi- bio to live, laugh, love. Every the fact that you don't even capitalize mom. your Discord bio makes me upset. God, your OCD is just making me upset. It's fine. Let it be. It's no, it, it bothers me too, but it's just the pleasure I get from having it bother you. It's better. It makes me happy. <laughs> Um, wait, what was it? Your favorite quote? Do you even have one or no? Not really. I can't really think of any quotes right now. Uh, let's see. Your favorite teacher? Do you have a story for your favorite teacher? Or? Favorite teacher? Probably Wentworth, you know. As much as I hate his class, he was a pretty chill person. Uh, all right. So I guess from my experience being in that class with you, you didn't really like do much. You kind of just put your headphones in and sat there. Okay. I didn't, I didn't do anything when I was with you, like in your guys' class for the fact that like, I didn't really care enough, but when I was with like my actual class, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess actually that makes participated. Sense. Yeah. Our class is kind of stupid. Yeah. Um, I think Wentworth gets too much hate. My parents are like, He's kind of the more like liberal teacher in the school, so my parents are just like, oh, but he's pushing his agenda on kids, which I don't know if he is. He's our English teacher, you know. Typ- he's kind of a typical English teacher, I feel. I don't know. Yeah. Um, he gets too much hate, but really, you think that's your best well, teacher? Boring, but he's a per- he's a good person. Yeah, I guess. Uh, who was my favorite teacher? I don't know. Like Mr. Krause was an awful teacher, but he was a cool dude. Mr. Hack was a good teacher. I just liked him because we had easy assignments, and he made history kind of fun. Our history teacher. I like I say I like Mr. Hack. I don't know if he's my favorite ever, but he was good. Um, yeah, so we got that. Um, mm-hmm. let's see, what else do we have? What is our country best known for? What is our country best known for? America. Let's see what people say. Idiots. Power. Dang. Are we best <laughs> are we best enough. are we best yeah. No, being fat, that's what we're best known for. <laughs> At the end of the day. 
power. You wake I, up I, in the year three thousand. What's your first thing you do? Cope. Cope. Uh, go check to see what it's like outside if there's flying cars and stuff if I'm in the year 3000 because <laughs> there's going to be flying cars by then like come on I want to see what type of like energy sources we're using because I don't think we'll be using fossil fuels so we got to find some type of green energy deal or something so uh, that'd be interesting to see how we're still powering see stuff see if we're actually do you think we're ever going to inhabit different planets do you think that's a possibility uh, uh, that'd be really expensive because uh, like other planets are we able to like farm on other planets I have no idea how that works I mean, isn't there? Isn't Elon gonna get us to Mars soon? Ah, uh, I think so. But doesn't that journey take like a couple of years to get there? No, actually, Mars is like—I don't even think Mars is a year. That is insane. But like the, uh, I mean, maybe, probably, because I'm sure like a hundred years ago, people thought like, well, they probably didn't think of anything about phones, but they probably thought the concept of a phone would be impossible. So I could see us living on other planets. Pretty possible. The first phone was useless weird, until though. they built the second one. Oh. I guess. <laughs> Till they sold the second one. Couldn't call anyone. Yeah, that that's yeah, that's what I'm doing though. And I think we'll be on the I think we'll be on Mars by twenty one hundred. Is that fair? That's fair. I would say we're gonna do something big in space by twenty fifty. Twenty fifty yeah, that's a long time away. I think we have some big plans. I don't know what, but I feel like I've just seen articles here and there. I feel like we need we need to do something with space more. That'd be fun. The, con- uh, the concept like, of all that is pretty interesting. It's really cool, but is it worth the money? I don't know. Yes. Because like, what Wasn't does it give like us a big in return? Article? Wasn't there a whole bunch of stuff on space that happened this year that no one cared about? Like the <laughs> FBI like released documents of UFOs being real and no one cared. Uh, that doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> I don't know. We'll skip past that. That's the least of our worries <laughs> this year. No, I don't know. Yeah, something like that happened. I didn't. I didn't read the whole story on that, but something like that. Um. Yeah, something big's coming for space. Cause like, when was the last time we were on the moon? I feel like was it was it? Did we only go once? Like, I don't even. know I think the story it was in it. like the 1900s. Yeah, like so. 1969, we landed on the moon. I think was that the Liddy the last yeah. time? That's insane. Like, why are we not? No, there was like different. There was different missions for it. I mean, there's not really anything to do on the moon, but like, why have we not been there in the last like two years? I don't know. I feel like it, I feel like that's easy work for us now. Maybe I don't know. Aliens I'm not a on the moon. Well, not to go back. Did they? You think so? Maybe we just don't I mean, know how to get there. We were never on the moon. I don't know. Exactly. See, now you're thinking like a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, exactly. But like, I just want to go see the American flag that's sitting up on the moon. That'd be so cool. I would like to see what's like if we actually die going into a black hole, or maybe we there's something else in there. Dang, you want to jump into a black hole? I mean, it'd be worth it. I guess. Fair enough. Maybe. I mean, if I'm like Who 90, just throw me in a black hole. Why not? Uh, uh, let's see. Maybe some of the things that we know about stuff is actually just completely wrong. I mean, that could be a thing. Simulation. Maybe somebody's controlling us, and I don't know. Maybe Anything. you're not even real. Maybe you're just like someone testing me. I don't know. At the end of the day, I could be a robot, and I don't even know. I could be. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't. I don't know. We don't know, man. It's so weird. The concept of life and all that. Uh, all right. Maybe there's a maybe there's a different universe where we're not even we don't even know we, each other. Yeah, there's like alternate us's, but we yeah I don't know, dude. It's weird. I don't think that's true, but hey, who knows? Uh, I guess we're almost to an hour, but I got like one more. All right, what are some of the ways to measure the progress in human life? I would just say like technology, and that definitely technology. So yeah, that's about it, and like practices, like how efficient we are. Um, but yeah, without naming it, what's your hobby? Wait, without naming hobby? it. Without naming it. Oh, what? I don't even know how that works. Making stuff. <laughs> making stuff. Also, yeah, I would say making. I mean, everyone's that can just describe saying, a lot of things. Yeah, everyone's just saying building stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Making stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'd say my hobby is probably just graphic design. Yeah. It. Yeah, that's epic. I can definitely see you enjoy that. And it's it's pretty cool. You make some it nice is, banners. It's like, you made my it's banner. Like, it's like games. It's like, you know, for people for gaming, it takes them away from stuff, like problems. Yeah. And that's kind of like the same thing it is for me. I just like doing it. And it helps me get away from everything. Absolutely. I wish I could say that about video editing, but video editing drains my soul, unfortunately. <laughs> I could see that being terrible. <laughs> it drains my soul, which I have to go edit the video tonight if I want to get it done by tomorrow. Still got to go take that shower. <laughs> uh, my soul. Yeah, I still have to go shower, guys. Um, We're about, we're like all basically an hour in. Uh, do you have any other questions you would like? To ask. Hmm. 
Uh, any last minute ones that I can find? There are so many here, but I don't even know. What is your favorite shade of brown? Um, I guess I can't think of anything to like say here. Uh, like these lights that I have in my room right now are like they look brown on camera. I kind of like that shade of brown in the background. Maybe I don't think it looks that nice, but it's a cool shade of brown, even though it's orange. But I don't know what would you say. I don't know what to compare it to. Uh, a shade of brown. Like I'd a, say probably the you know like the the light chocolate brown, probably my favorite. Okay, yeah, I guess that's probably a better description than what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even know. What's the first thing you think of when you hear the uh, when you hear Canada? I just think of the word a. I just think of Canada. A. I'm funny. I'm sorry. Dan. You're sorry. Why are you sorry? Like, oh, no, because oh. they're they're nice people, so they always say sorry. Oh yeah, sorry, like that. We have Canadians in the server. They can they can sorry back us up here. Um, uh, yeah, I think our Canadians are pretty nice in the server. I guess uh, we basically yeah. are Canadians. We're we're almost there. We're like a couple hours, a few hours away. Uh, yeah, we're basically. I guess I have one more to end it. Unless you have another one to say. You go for it. Oh geez, okay. I just saw this one. Um, this is kind of deep. Um, how depressed are you right now? <laughs> this is a sad. On ending, a scale of one to this. ten, yes, probably like. Maybe a four. Yeah, I'd say I'm like not depressed. At all. I'm worried. Like I'm anxious. I don't know. I'm anxious, kind of worried for my future because I don't really know what I want to do with my life. But that makes me kind of worried. I wouldn't say depressed though. All right. Anyways, the one I was gonna say was, you're a WWE superstar. What would your intro look like? <laughs> this is it. Play the WAP. God dang it! <laughs> stop relating it to that. I would play. You need a uh, music intro. Oh my god, I know, but that's just not it. Again, you come out doing the dance and everyone cringes. <laughs> that's just not what you want to do. I could see somebody in the WWE doing that. The WWE is so cringe. Uh, it's funny though. <laughs> it is funny. I used to love it, but now I, it shows up on TV and it's just so cringe. I can't it's, even watch it's, it. It's terrible now because it, there's no no one in the stand, so it's literally just people oh yelling and slapping. Oh no, they kept it going. Yeah, that's awful. Yeah, it's just like they so should quiet. Just, they should have just discon stopped it for a year or two. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'd probably run out to some Mo Bamba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen to Sicko Mode or Mo Bamba. Uh, I think Sicko Mode's the better song, but Mo Bamba could be a little more hype. <laughs> but at the end of the day, yeah, they're decent songs. Sicko Mode's a decent song. I think, yeah. All right. You don't want to like run out to Michael Jackson and moonwalk down to the ring? <laughs> I don't know if that's hype enough, but I don't know, maybe. People would be hyped. Something like that. Yeah, the I don't fans. know. Maybe. But uh, <laughs> that's my last question. I don't know if you have any others. Probably not. Uh, nope. Yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for listening. If you're still here, that's an hour and three minutes. That went kind of quick, honestly, for how long of a day it's been. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm going to take a shower. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming on, Nacho. Um, Anytime. Let's see. When do you think... Okay, so the last one is episode four. This one is episode 17. 30 ish for the next ask credit episode let's go episode 30 for ask credit number three peace out guys have a great yesterday thanks so much for listening peace out nacho and uh, yeah we'll talk to you guys later join the discord See you guys. goodbye hope you all enjoyed and yeah peace out peace out and boom we are done <laughs>